Good morning. Welcome to this brief reflection for today. The verses I want to bring to you today are from Matthew chapter 11, two very sh short verses in verses 29 and 30. Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Familiar verses to us all, I guess. When you read the Gospels, you can often tell that Jesus would draw illustrations from the life around him in order to help people understand his teaching. On this occasion, in, in my mind's eye, I can imagine Jesus looking around, um, wanting to make a point, noticing a farmer with a pair of yoked oxen and thinking, oh yes, that's an analogy that will help me make my point. So he says to the crowd, listen in now. Do you see that farmer over there with his oxen? Well, I say to you, take my yoke on you and learn from me. And then he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. People living in first century Palestine were familiar with yokes. And of course, as a carpenter himself, Jesus knew more about them than most in that he had probably made a number of them for farmers in the village. Yokes were widely used to couple two oxen together, perhaps to put a bit more oomph into the ploughing. But the yoke also symbolised the oppression that the people suffered under the brutal regime of the Roman occupying forces, and also from the burdensome demands of their own religious leaders. Useful as a, a yoke might be for a farmer with oxen, it was also a metaphor for something restrictive and oppressive when applied to themselves. But in these verses, Jesus was turning everything upside down, something he did quite often, because he wanted to change people's understanding as to what God was really like. God had become generally seen as judgmental, demanding, distant, and as a result, he was feared rather than loved. In contrast, Jesus wanted people to realise that while God did have expectations of his people, he was above all a God of love who wanted a close relationship with his people. So this reinterpretation of the everyday yoke, looking at its benefits rather than at the hardship it might cause, was radical. Take my yoke on you and learn from me. My yoke is easy and my burden is light, said Jesus. Linking one ox to another with a yoke was a great way of teaching a young animal what was needed from it, and it also shared the load that the oxen had to bear. There was no pretense in Jesus' teaching, but while he made it clear that he did his, his ex expect his followers to carry his yoke in order to learn from him and to submit to him, he assured that all who turned to him would find that their burdens would be eased. And as these verses put it, they would find rest for their souls. There's a parallel in that very well-known Valley of the Shadow of Death verse in Psalm 23. The writer says, when I go through the Valley of the Shadow of Death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. He doesn't say that there is no evil, that there will be no evil, but with the presence of God, any evil, any fear, any sadness, need not be feared. Fear need not incapacitate us. In the same way, in the verses I've used here from Matthew, Jesus doesn't promise that we will have no burdens if we accept his invitation to turn to him. In fact, he says that we need to accept his yoke for him to come alongside us, to teach us, to hold us in order, in line. And he also says that we will still have to take our share of the heavy lifting. But when we turn to him, he promises that he will be there alongside us, sharing our burdens, giving us rest for our souls. For our prayer this morning, I thought we might like to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now for our hymn this morning, I, the, you can see the link to uh, my, Be Still My Soul, The Lord is on your side. <laughs> 